Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 25th season of the Fridley High School Alumni Choir. And as I wrote in the program, it just took us a couple extra years to get here uh, because of COVID. But we're happy to be here, and we're happy to be singing again. And just a couple of announcements, please, before we start. If you have anything that makes a noise, like a phone or, a, or something, if you could silence that, we'd appreciate that. Um, and if your neighbor should happen to fall asleep during the concert and they start snoring, that would also be your responsibility <laughs> to help them. Uh, thank you, we appreciate that. Um, one of the, one of the um, fun things about getting older is needing glasses to read. Okay, so in your program, in your program you have the text and the translations of some of the songs, and you also have a half a sheet ballot and this is your ballot to vote on your favorite song that we sing this afternoon. And you will leave your ballot by one of the doors on your way out. And we will certainly uh, perform that song uh, next year at our next year's concert. So you will notice that the very last song that we sing on the program, Over the Rainbow, is not on your ballot. Because that was the winner from our previous concert. So no song can win twice in a row. So that's why you can't because otherwise we get really tired of singing that song all the time. Um, so please, and please only circle one song on your ballot. A lot of people say, you know, I just can't decide. I like them all so much, blah, 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 blah. Well, I can only count one. And some of you will want to flip your, your program over and circle your favorite singer, which is okay, but there's no prize involved with that. Um, so, so don't worry about that. So we're very happy to be here, and we're really happy that you're here this afternoon. Um, you know, as I mentioned, singing is, is um, a big deal for us. And we are just so happy that we get together and we can sing. Um, so we're going to open our concert with a song called When We Sing. And it was composed by a Twin Cities composer just uh, a few months ago, actually. And her name is, is Linda Kacklemeyer. And um, we're just, like I said, COVID shut us down for a couple of years. So we're really happy um, to be singing. And this song sort of expresses to me why we're happy to be singing and, and what singing together does that we do so well. So it's, um, so this song will explain it. Enjoy the concert. Thanks for being here. Thanks. 
Hello? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hello. So our, our next song is Global the Winter Wind, conducted by Mr. Dave Ryan, who was the founding director of this group, and for some of us was our high school choir director. So we're very happy that he agreed to be our guest, one of our guest conductors this afternoon to help us celebrate our 25th season. So ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dave Ryan.
Um, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so now we come to the part of our program that we call an interlude. And an interlude is where the choir gets to sit down because some of us are of a certain age that it's important for us to sit. I just said some. Come on, people. I just said some. So while, we, while they do that, I would, again, want to thank you all for coming to help us celebrate this 25th season of this alumni choir. And I'm going to give you just a brief little history of what happened here because uh, I think it's worth remembering what happened 25 years ago and where we are, what brought us um, to today. So in 1995, there was a variety show put on at the high school auditorium to celebrate the auditorium's 25th season, 25th anniversary, and it was called a Sterling Performance, as in Sterling Silver, as in Silver Anniversary, as in 25th Anniversary. You get the idea. So the Sterling Performance, uh, part of that was a variety show, like I said, and Dave Ryan, who we just uh, saw conduct, um, threw together uh, an alumni group to perform at that, con at that variety show. And I guess it was such a hit that he decided, hey, maybe we should have like an ongoing choir, which is why the next year, in 19, er, sorry, in 1996, Dave created what we now know as the Alumni Choir. So some of us will be very interested to know that um, this afternoon's concert that you're hearing right now include, includes one song that was at that very first Alumni Choir concert in 19, 1996. Any guesses what it might be? Blow, blow the winter wind. Exactly, the one that Dave just conducted. Exactly right. That's the one that was performed at that first concert, and lo and behold, here we are 25 years later. All right. And I didn't know this until I did some research, but that first year, the choir was known as the Fridley Sterling Choir. Ah, Sterling performs, I get it. And then the following year, for some reason, it was changed to Fridley Alumni Concert Choir, and that was called through 2004. In 2004, Dave Ryan decided he'd had enough and decided um, that it was going to be the last year, and so everybody decided there was going to be a, a farewell performance. So 2004 was this choir's farewell performance. And guess what song on today's program was sung at that farewell performance in 2004? Blow, blow, thou winter wind, the one that we just heard Dave conduct here, exactly right. So after that farewell concert in 2004, there was a little gathering up at the Mermaid the Supper Club, and people said, gosh, wouldn't it be nice if we could continue this? Um, it wouldn't be the same without Dave, but, you know, we just like singing so much. And they looked around the room, and they saw me, and they said, hey, maybe he could do it. And so, um, so you know, after being in, in Dave Ryan's choir for three years in high school, and then a couple of years, you know, ten years in the alumni choir, I thought, yeah, if he can do it, I could probably do it. <laughs> so, so, I thought, so I thought, sure, I'd give it a shot. And so I became the director of this group back in um, 2005. So in 2007, two years later, was the first year a high school choir performed at one of our concerts. And I believe Bruce Messer was the high school director at that time and brought a high school group to sing on our concert. And then 2016 was the first year that a high school uh, the high school choir and the alumni choir joined forces and sang together, and which we're going to do in two weeks from today in the auditorium. So if you want to hear us sing with the high school choir, show up in two weeks in the auditorium, 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon, easy to remember. Okay, so in 2019, that was to be our 25th season, right? Two years ago was to be our, or three years ago, was supposed to be our 25th season. But of course, we had to go on hiatus with every other choir and choral group in the world because of COVID. So um, we just thought we just couldn't just sit around and do anything. So our, our steering committee, and the steering committee members are, are mentioned in your program, you can find out who they are, decided that we should put together a little video to celebrate our 25th season, even though it would be in abstentia, right? Because we weren't going to be there. So somebody came up with a great idea. We should call it 25 years and holding. So we held for 25 years, for a couple years. And if you want to watch that video, you can go on YouTube and, and or you can Google Fridley Alumni Choir and that little 20 minute video will pop up. Um, so if, I bet you're, now I bet you're wondering how many different people have sung in the choir since 19, er, 1996, aren't you? Yes, that answer, that answer, that answer is 163. 163 different people have been 
in this choir. Some have been in for every year for 25 years, and other years the, the personnel changes. Um, so we've had alums, and we've had friends of alums, and we've got family of alums, and this year we even have a couple former teachers of alums in Perry Nelson and Bruce Messer, and we're really happy to have them in the group. And now I bet you're also wondering how many different songs this choir has sung over the past 25 years. Yeah? I'm glad you asked. That answer is 160. So over 25 years, we've done 160 different songs. I mean, um, so the most, now what do you think is the second most repeated song? Blow, blow that winter wind. <laughs> That's the second most repeated in the last 25 years. So um, thanks again. Thanks again for the singers. Thanks again to the audience for being part of this, our 25th season. Um, it certainly is an, an accomplishment we're celebrating, and we're glad you're here. And now on to the interlude, Joe Young. get this set up right. First of all, it's really good to see all of you here. Um, it's very thrilling to be back and doing this, and frankly, terrifying, okay? <laughs> we haven't sung a uh, couple of years. Where I have practiced is my house, my car when I've been in it, and my backyard. Um, and I had a neighbor come up to me and say, you know, I really like listening to you sing in your backyard. No offense, but it's a good thing you don't have a microphone. <laughs> so, here we are. I have a mic. Let's see if I can do it. Stars shining bright above you Night winds seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in a sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Say nighty night and kiss me just hold me tight and tell me you'll miss me While I'm alone in blue as can be Dream a little dream of me
introduce the pianist? Yes, this is Mary Louise Knutson. One of our great local jazz players. My name is Teresa Sauer. This is, Craig who are T. you again? Yeah. I'm Craig T. Uh, we have never sung together before. And in fact, in the last hour, it's the first time we've actually even run through a song before. So this is gonna be really fun for all of you who love rehearsing for six months at a time on a song. And I was just thinking of, it's the holiday season and it's normally your English and lyric, but we're gonna sing it in Italian today. But on this time of the season, I thought this was such a beautiful prayer. A world where pain and sorrow will be ended and every heart that's broken will be ended. And we'll remember that we are all God's children reaching out to you, reaching for the sky. I pray you'll be our eyes and watch us where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. As we go our way, lead us to a place, guide us with your grace to a place where we'll be safe. Luce che to die. I pray we'll find your light. Del cuore resterà. And told it in our hearts. E ricordarci che. When stars go out each night. Eterna stella se. Let this be our prayer. When shadows fill our day, lead us to a place. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we. We ask that life be kind and watch us from above. We ask each soul to find another soul to love. Let this be. Just like every child, just like every child, needs, needs 
needs to find a place. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we'll be safe. So as, hello, 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 are we close? Okay, so thank you. So as we get ready for our second set here, our second half, um, in this set, you're gonna hear the song um, titled No Time. So just like you all get to vote for your favorite song every year, so does the choir. And the choir, last time we met, many years ago, voted for No Time as their favorite, which is why we're putting it here in the set. And you're also going to hear a song called Out of the Ashes, which was commissioned, oh, thank you, which was commissioned uh, by this choir to celebrate our 25th, I mean, it's our 20th anniversary, um, which one would think was five years ago, was really seven years ago because two years for COVID. Anyway, you get the idea. And so that um, song got its uh, world premiere right here in this very space. Um, uh, so somebody just handed me lost and found keys. Lost and found keys, lost and found keys. They're right here, they're yours. We can go out the parking lot and start pushing buttons. Okay, um, first, song, first song in this set is How Can I Keep From Singing? It's my pleasure to introduce another former choir director at Frilly High School, Mr. Bruce Messer, and some people in this choir also, uh, some people in this choir had Mr. Messer as their choir director in high school, so we're really glad that he came and has agreed to be part of this, our 25th season. So thank you very much, Bruce.
Oh, I hope you're enjoying the concert so far. I know we are enjoying performing it. Um, and it's warm up there, just let me tell you. So Randy gave a wonderful talk about our 27 years of history, 25 years of performing. One of the things he didn't talk about was um, one of the um, purposes of the choir is that we raise money for scholarships. Um, and so far, we've given out $96,000 in scholarships due to the contributions from all of you who come to our concerts. So first of all, thank you very, very much. <laughs> so this is the part where I get to ask you again, if you feel that you can or you want to, um, we will be having some of our choir members come br bring up the offering trays and we will be, um, if you are inclined to give to the Sterling um, Scholarship Fund, um, that will be happening during one of the performances coming up. I thought what I'd do though is I won't take too long, so I'd, lot, I'd like to tell you what happened in uh, the 2019-2020 school year, the 2020-2021 school year, and then the 2021-22 school year. Even though we weren't participating in choir, we still had people who donated, and many watched that YouTube video and also donated um, as a result of watching the YouTube video. So in 19, or 2019 to 2020, we were able to award three scholarships to a Daniel Toe, Jada Probasco, and Valentin Moorhead. In 2020 to 21, we also awarded three scholarships to Aya Abdul Wahid, to Cassidy Callahan, who is Dave Ryan's granddaughter, and Eric Hill. This past year, 2021 to 2022, Karina Daniels Carlson and Helen Riddle were awarded scholarships, and Helen is the daughter of Chris Riddle in our choir as well. So thanks to you, we've been able to do that. Um, if you would like to make a donation and you want to write out a check, please write the check to the Fridley Schools Foundation. A little aside, you can take it off your taxes. It is a 501c3, so you can write that off as a donation. But again, it's the Fridley Schools Foundation, and now we'll welcome, I believe it's Cheryl Peters, who's up here for her time, her solo. And Good afternoon. My name is Cheryl Sherman Peters, and this afternoon, Heather and I would like to do a song called It's You I Like, which was published by, sorry, Fred Rogers in 1970, which is the year I graduated from Fridley High School. Woo! <laughs> It's you I like It's not the things you wear It's not the way you do your hair But it's you I like The way you are right now The way you are What? The way down deep inside you It's not the things that hide you It's not your toys They're just beside you But it's you I like Every part of you eyes, your skin, your feelings, whether old or new. I hope that you'll remember even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like, it's you yourself, Oliver. It's you, it's you, I like. Thank you.
Uh, I'm not a soloist. My name is Valerie Flessner, and I'm going to do a piano solo. Um, I haven't performed on the piano in front of an audience uh, over the age of 12 um, since uh, 92, so that's been a while. Huh. Um, so keep your expectations low and work on the checks. Put your money in the basket and be distracted, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this for the first time in 30 years. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's oh the song. It's a it's a prelude. It's got a stupid name, but it's by uh, Robert Vandal. It's a great song. <laughs> Dumb name, great song. And I'm Helen Ettinger, and I did graduate, but not from Fridley. <laughs> and I'm married to the director, so he lets me sing. And um, we're going to do a song called Carol for Advent. It's not quite Advent, but we're getting there.
Hello, testing, one, two, three, eight, 14. Good, so um, another piece of lost and found here. It looks like a, a necklace of some kind. It looks like a, a dream catcher, um, kind of a theme thing with, with uh, three feathers hanging off the bottom. So I think it's a, it might be a necklace. I so welcome to the third half of our concert. Um, and before, before we start this um, third half, I just want to thank a few folks. Uh, of course, you all for coming and being so generous uh, with your donations. Thank you very much. Um, and we'd really like to thank Fridley United Methodist Church, who has allowed this choir to sing here for free for years and years, best bargain in town. And our new friend, Kevin Paul, back there running the sound and, and stuff for us. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate that. And of course, we, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> And we have our, our fine accompanist, Heather Cogswell. Thank you, Heather. Kind of applause. And we have 
and we have a steering committee um, made up of members of the choir. They're indicated in your program. They put in a lot of extra time and work. Um, especially like to thank Dave Ryan and Bruce Messer for helping make our 25th season uh, the so extra special by their presence. Thank you both very much. And of course the singers who come on every Monday night for the last 10 weeks and put this program together. Gosh, you know, I'd be pretty silly standing up here and waving my arms if there was nobody uh, to wave my arms at. So I really appreciate them coming. Um, although if they weren't here, I'd still come and wave my arms. Um, <laughs> Again, on your way out, if you could leave your ballots by the doors, and if you want to see the same choir in two weeks, you can do that. The interludes are going to be a little different. Um, we will dedicate a grand piano, a uh, new grand piano for the Fridley schools in the auditorium. That will take the place of the, of the interludes. And now, thank you again, the conclusion of our 25th season.